And I figured, okay, dramatic. Let's turn on the flashlight and we're gonna take our shot. Oh my gosh. How's it going everyone? Bo here from BZ Hub. Gonna have to turn on the old BZ night vision cat eye looking here. There we go, that looks better. So this is how it pretty much went down with this night moose here. I was kind of wandering around in this dark wilderness and I saw this big pair of antlers there. Look at that guy. Oh my gosh, got me so excited. And of course, what I'm carrying with me is a recurve bow to be used for the uh, recurve crossbow video. I was I was wandering around trying to find animals to uh, shoot with the recurve bow, and uh, that's just kind of how it went down. So I, you know, crept up my way. I I know me. I know how I shoot. I'm I'm going to get as close to this thing as possible if I'm going to be using the recurve on it. I'm thinking maybe 15 yards maximum. So just wanted to keep getting as close as I could, crawling of course, this is why I never do this sort of hunting on streams, how could you imagine, could you imagine sitting here watching this entire thing on a stream? No, no way, that's why there's going to be plenty of cuts in this video. I will say something that I picked up from this whole venture out in the wilderness at night is that it's really interesting. Once you start playing the game enough, you kind of hunt drinking zones, and that's pretty much it. And so it's kind of difficult to know where they're going to be feeding all the time, unless you're in Hirschfelden and you can kind of go off the fields or something like that. But if it's nighttime, it's just so interesting to, to do this. The animals are laying down. You pretty much just walk around and just try to find them um, while they're laying down, just like this guy. Of course, this was a bit easier because he's out here in the middle of these uh, burned woods. So it's a, it's, it's a bit different, but still added a different dynamic to the game now. I think um, I try every once in a while to get the night vision equipment out and try some night hunting. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna have to try to do that some more because it really is uh, Just a different angle of the game here So it was about at this point. I realized okay if I can just get to this tree up here I think we'll be close enough and maybe I'll be able to get some uh, Concealment from that tree we take another look at those antlers sticking up out of the grasses Goodness gracious, what a moose! Um, but I really just thought maybe this tree would give us a little bit of concealment, enough that I could uh, crouch up and take a good shot at this guy. Um, so I just kind of kept going, kept crawling my way there, slow and steady wins the race, I suppose. Look at that. Yeah, we're getting close now. Okay, so I came up to this tree here, and this gigantic moose here is just laying down. And I figured, okay, dramatic, let's turn on the flashlight, and we're gonna take our shot, oh my gosh. And watch this arrow go straight into the elbow of the moose, luckily, it still gave us the penetration. I think, yeah, I did send another arrow down range, because I figured if I hit him a second time, at least maybe I'd have two arrows stuck in him. But as you can see with the tracer right there, it did not hit him, so. Unfortunately, I only got one arrow in him, and so he did run quite a ways, as you'll see. This video is so dark. I, it's morning in Kansas right now, but it's so sunny outside. I had to close my blinds. I feel like I'm in a cave right now because I couldn't edit this video. I couldn't see it. It's so dark in the video. <laughs> So, uh, as if tracking a recurve shot, you know, with the blood wasn't hard enough, now we're doing it at nighttime, and I'm just running around trying to figure out where the blood splotches are. I keep losing it, and then I have to kind of find it again. It's just a pain. It's just a pain. There we go. Found another one. And then I saw it. Those ginormous antlers sticking up out of the grass. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh. Absolutely stunning. And so cool. So different that we did it at nighttime. Look at that arrow. It's, it's like in its leg right now. 
That's the craziest thing about this shot. First off, it looked like it hit the elbow. Then it got attached to its back hoof when it was laying down, I guess. Look at this. Look at that hoof just like sticking up and then it got hit with the arrow somehow. That back leg hoof. Oh my gosh. 284.8, just under the diamond score. But my goodness, look at that rack. He does look like he would be a diamond, but just couldn't cut it. Couldn't cut it. A monster four, though. You can't complain when you see a monster four like this. I always say, you know, diamonds are great, but a monster four or a monster eight or a monster two, you know, those, those get you just as excited, I think. Very nice. Well... That's going to complete this video. I thank you all for watching. It's just a nice little recurve vid. Go out and try the recurve yourself. Twitch, Monday, Wednesday, sometimes Friday, 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. Central. Hope to see you there. Like and subscribe. And as always, hunters, keep hunting. Never stop.